All right, Shalom. Shalom, Wam. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Muhammad Kakodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching in the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii. And um, I want to do a quick video on this article that you see in front of you. It's entitled 10 Misconceptions About uh, American Slavery. And um, I just wanted to scroll down right here to number nine. Okay, and it says that. Uh, Salakia. Right. So it says number nine. It says slaves came from all over Africa, which that's a that's a myth or that's a misconception because the majority of the slaves came from the western uh, uh, coast of Africa, uh, southwestern coast of Africa, all right? And this is for a reason, and that reason was because the Israelites, namely the, the uh, tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, uh, were uh, living in those areas, man, okay? When slavery happened, it wasn't a, a so-called African thing, man. It was directed at a certain group of people that were living in Africa and that were living in Europe, and it was the Israelites. Okay, and just to prove this to you, it says right here, Salakia. Just to prove this right here, it says this. It says European slave traders were businessmen. They wanted the most out. I guess that was supposed to be an out of product for the least amount of effort. Okay, they had very little interest in uh, traipsing around. An entire continent when they had the option to remain largely stationary at the height of the slave trade one in six slaves came from Senegambia the area between the Senegal and Gambian rivers today it consists of Senegal Gambia Guinea Basu and Mali about a quarter of all slaves sent to the United States came from this area another quarter came from West Central Africa the area of the modern nations of Angola, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Gabon. Even though they spoke different languages, this is the point, even though they spoke different languages, they had a lot in common in terms of culture, traditions, and religion. Okay? And that's the point, because the majority of the Israelites, well, not majority of the Israelites, but the slaves that were taken from Africa, they, they were Israelites, man. And that's the reason why even though we spoke different languages or different dialects of Hebrew, okay, one thing we had in common was what? Our culture, our traditions, and religion, man. And why is that? Because we're Israelites. Yeah. And when you go through Africa, when you go out through Africa, Salakia, so like when you look up uh, the different cultures in Africa, it says this, Africa is home to 3,000 indigenous African tribes, 2,000 African languages, and over 2,000 dialects. Of those African languages, Africa is culturally diverse as well. With 3,000 tribes there in Africa, there is probably 3,000 separate cultures as well. But again, when you read about the, those that were taken in slavery, they shared things in common, which was what? Their culture, Salakia, which was what? Their culture, their traditions, and religion, man. Why? Because they were Israelites, man. You know, now to somebody simple that that's that's looking at this video, they'll say, "Well, they they share the same culture." But wait a minute, when you look at uh, Africa, they don't share. All Africans don't share the same culture. They don't even share the same language, let alone the same traditions and religion, man. Okay, and they didn't, obviously this article is not going to tell you that those traditions, those traditions, and religion and culture was that of the the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay. They're not going to tell you that circumcision on the eighth day was something that they practiced, that they believed in one power, one God, which is Yahweh. All right. But this is the truth. And that's the reason why this whole slave trade was centered primarily around the West, Central West Africa, man, and not the East, not the North and not the South, man. Because our people as a whole, we 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 were arrested here after... Uh, uh, the, the year 70 AD, okay, when we were pushed out of Israel and we had to flee into the mountains. And those mountains that we fl fled into were in, Af were in Africa, chiefly the Atlas Mountains 
and even in Europe and all over the world, man. But we made a, a main, a large body of our people, over a million of our people, fled into the interiors of Africa. And when they fled to, it was what? The Western Sahara, man. Okay? Which they call, uh, today they call it the uh, Sub-Saharan. Sub-Saharan Africa, man. All right? And you see a small uh, side of Senegal right here. The flag, Senegal, Dakar, uh, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Ivory Coast. And it says right here, it says a considerable number of slaves also came from the slave coast where many ships would anchor. If the ships still had space, the traders would conduct coastal raids to fill them. Today, it makes up the coast of Ghana. All right. And those and these are all Israelites. And you still got Israelites over there today. All right. Just to show you that in these people know that we were the Israelites, man. We are the Israelites. You know, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. When you look up that word buy, it means to redeem you, okay? Because we were obviously bought and sold, but no man came to redeem us. Why? Because this was our punishment. And you got to ask yourself a couple of questions. Why was it centered on a certain amount of Africans? Why did so-called Africans, why didn't all so-called Africans go through this? Because... Not all these people that were dwelling in Africa were Israelites, man. This was a this was a punishment, a judgment that was given to us so that we could be what brought over here to the West, okay, which is the Americas, and right along with our Northern Kingdom brothers, we're going to be delivered out of here, man. Okay. So just you know, just just some proof, you know, that the slaves came. They they, they claim that slaves came from all over. Nah, they only came from a certain portion, and it wasn't just because. Uh, you know, raiders and Edomites or whatever, they 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 were too lazy to go into the interiors of Africa, is because the, the Israelites were over there, man. And so this was this was a targeted attack, man. Slavery was a targeted attack. Hey, with that, hey, Shalom, on to the next.